Hello my dear friends, it's me Odo and I'm back in a uh, campaign of EU4 after we, we've done the Inca campaign I thought I will do some more achievement runs and um, this time I'm taking a very short one a fast one mm. it's called Sweden is not overpowered uh, start with Sweden and conquer the whole coast of the Baltic Sea, which is uh, this. Mm, we don't have to conquer a lot, but yeah. So we are the only hindrance in this is that we are a vassal of the, uh, uh, we we are in a personal union with Denmark at the time. So we have to break free from this, um, but this shouldn't be too, um, <coughs> what's it called, too hard. Because Denmark has a lot of enemies and we are quite strong. So let's see how this goes. Yeah, I did this before, I also tried to record this, but in my third or fourth episode I I made some really terrible decisions and therefore yeah, let's call it Sweden is overpowered and therefore yeah I want to override this this is really terrible <laughs> mm -hmm. I will eat some also chocolate at the same time. <laughs> yeah, why such a mm, fast achievement? Mm, I'm not sure if this will be fast with me, but um, I'm not sure when the 1.30 patch will uh, will be installed, and I'm not sure if I will be able to restart the game with 1.29. and most probably all the saves will be um, destroyed by the new patch mm. yeah okay uh, we are playing with the wealth of nations art of war el dorado common sense cossacks and mare nostrum rights of man and the mandate of heaven all the other stuff i don't have um, this is quite okay. I can't do some some things I can't do, but yeah, that's it. We will we can live with that. I hope. I mean, we are not we are not uh, orthodox country, so we don't need the icons and yeah. We are not Islamic as well, so that's okay as well. In rule Britannia there are some things that we could need, but yeah, who cares? Innovativeness is in there. Mm. Dharma, we don't play in India, so we are not missing out in the Indians the Indian stuff. Um the policy system, yeah, well. The parliament. I mean, uh, I'm not sure. I saw parliament. I'm. I'm not sure with which uh, of these parliament is coming. Could also be the Respublica. I don't know. Third Rome, probably. Who knows? Who Who cares? Um, that there are no strelts is even good because um, we will have to fight Russia. <laughs> Okay, we are Catholic at the start, but um, we will probably turn Protestant. I never played a Protestant land, so let's see how this works. There is also uh, one achievement for Sweden. I'm not sure if I'm able to, because I'm not sure if there will be a league war in the 
uh, HRE where Sweden should um, should uh, where you should start the Sweden and lead the Protestants to war against Austria and the uh, Catholics so this is the one we want to do Sweden is not overpowered uh, we need 38 provinces to core and own that's these <coughs> ah, we will have to have these as well I thought this is the end interesting why should we need these and we don't need Sjöland Yeah, whatever. Up there. The Livonian Order, the Teutonic Order, Pomerania, Mecklenburg, Lübeck, and a few bits of Novgorod and Denmark. We don't we, we are not able to do much at the start of the game because we are in a personal union. But um, we probably, as Denmark has enemies, can ask the enemies of Denmark to get us out of this alliance, of this personal union. Excess actions, yup. So, England, Scotland, Novgorod. Let's see, would you, England, would you support our independence? Yes, you would. That's great. How about Poland? You are... Um, no. You cannot reach Denmark. Okay. How about you? Why can you, but not Poland? Why can Lithuania reach Poland, but not... Uh, Lithuania reach Denmark, but not Poland? This is stupid. Okay, how about you? Mm, you would do it. We just need to get you to like us a bit more. Hmm. Last time I... I asked the Livonian and the Teutonic Order to help me and this was not good because I wanted um, Poland as a as a ally. I think Poland is a great ally. How about you? Um, do you want to build an alliance with me? Nope. You're loyal towards Denmark. Mm. Yeah, whatever. You probably won't leave the le league with us. We are in the Kalmar League, uh, so... Mm. So you would probably do it. But not really. So who are you? Scotland, I could ask Scotland as well. Yeah, you do it as well. That's nice. Mm -hmm. I mean, we don't have a lot of money at the start of the game. Like, no money at all. So I really don't think we should take some advisors at the start. We can't take our king as... Uh, <laughs> as a leader because we have the same king as Denmark <laughs> we could recruit a general but I really don't know if this... ah we could recruit a general via the nobility Ugh. This, this gives us 20 influence with them hmm. is this worth it? Hmm. 
If we grant them a general ship and we have a hundred influence, they would give us two hundred military points, wouldn't they? Mm. Let's seek support of the clergy. Let's send an emissary to the Pope. Let's just recruit this Inquisitor and let's take the 150 admin points. Okay, you are only 24%. Okay, you can't have any of these, but the uh, uh, the nobles have a lot of stuff, so we probably should take some land from the nobles that you could take. Mm -hmm. Let's see, do we have any estuaries there? Could take estuaries in Stockholm, yeah, that's great. <laughs> and here in Elfsborg, where you already have the thing, but there are no estuaries anymore. Okay. So. for you. We could do some development to level 10, up to level 10, in like this province. It's level 8 now. Let's encourage development here. And on 11th November 1445, we will do the following. We will um, So let's see, um, we want to boost stability at least once. Mm -hmm. That's great. Surely I forgot something. So Nerke. Oh no, we are so stupid. Ugh. It was only level <laughs> six. Ah. Yet. Okay. Um. What do we want to do here? I really don't know. I forgot, uh, surely I forgot something, these states we will do in one year, we have an overlord, uh, we have some troops, ah uh, yeah we could, we could buy three more infantry to get this first, uh, to get this first um, mission done. There is only Catholics around. Mm -hmm. Our mission is to end the Kalma Union, which we will do, definitely.
and uh, some of these um, some of these uh, missions will also help us to do what we want to do. Yeah, let's let's start moving around. Perfect, perfect. Okay, uh, Denmark also starts with um, with some. Let's improve relations with you. Let's improve relations with you. Wait, why <coughs> was this just put to minus twenty eight? I really don't know. I'm not sure if I really want to do this. Really? Why are we now at minus 28? We should have been at minus... Once your provinces... Uh, stupid idiots. I want your provinces as well. So that you know. How about you? Will you support us now? Nah, you, you can't reach Denmark. How about you? Nope. How about you? Nope. How about you? Nope. Austria, how about you? really doesn't like Denmark because they own provinces of the HRE. How about France and Burgundy? Mm, they cannot reach Denmark. France would probably do this, but they really hate England, so... I think France would be a better... No, probably not. Let's try to get Novgorod before they start getting killed by Muscovy. Really? Yeah. It's just a bit money that we lose there. Let's do this because then we have a better army morale and the army costs less. So how about the forts of our opponents? This is mothballed and this is a capital fort. So is it possible to attack you? This is an interesting question. We can't do the cold diet because this is also increasing our influence. So if we do this get to hundreds. Oh my god, the controlled provinces is 68%. What would happen if we'd taken this away? It would only increase by 12.1%. So it would still be over 50%, that's not good. 
so we would to would ha would have to um, get two of their provinces away. Hmm. We probably should give the general to them. Could use them to attack the to attack the Danish with our rebels. We could let the Danish fight the rebels. So we could take the generalship, um, get the general out of that. So we have a general. Next, uh, we take on the 11th November Nerke. And we declare war. Let's move there. Let's let's move there first. Let's leave some troops behind, like half of the troops. We don't need everyone up in Trondelage. something these guys hmm. so like this guy you can do protect trade in the Baltic Sea and you go home at war mm -hmm. and you go up to Stockholm Try to find someone to buy you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's see. Is there someone who would buy you? Ah, oh, you would support my independence now. Great. But would you, would you also buy my ships? Sell ships like this one. Nope. Hmm, too bad. But you would um, You would do this, so let's do this before you change your mind. How about you? Would you sell some, sh uh, buy some ships? Like this? Nope. This fleet? Nope. about the Teutonic Order. Only for free? Eh, I don't want to give it to you for free. I mean, I would probably do it, but... Eh. Really? Don't you have some money? Hmm. How about you? Ah, you would totally buy them. 
Also the 20 ships, uh, the two ships. Yeah, that's great. Let's get some money from you. Ships for Lübeck. Uh, oh, Riga. I don't think that you would want to buy ships. Nope. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's not. It's not too bad. We'll we'll um, sell them later on. We just do this. Yeah, um, I hope, my dear friends, you saw what this will be. Um, until next time, we will see each other again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and next time we will start the war against Denmark. Until then, see you. Bye.